It's not a Syrian ski resort. It's not Israeli land. It's the internationally recognized occupied Golan Heights. But Donald Trump doesn't seem to think so. The US officially recognized Israeli sovereignty over the Golan. So first, a quick geography lesson. The Golan Heights is this little piece of land here. You might be thinking, why is this so important? Well, it's 1,200 kilometers squared long, 60 kilometers away from Syria's capital, Damascus, and borders Lebanon, Jordan, and Israel. Added to its high altitude, the heights represents an important strategic location. Today, there are more than 30 illegal Israeli settlements in the Golan, which are home to an estimated 20,000 people living alongside some 20,000 Syrians. And now, a quick history lesson. Trump's move, that was dubbed historic, is internationally illegal. The UN marked the area as occupied Syrian land. Since it was taken from Damascus in the Six Day War of 1967, an attempt to take it back in the 1973 Yom Kippur War was thwarted by Tel Aviv. And in 1981, Israel annexed the area, leaving both sides in a state of war. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu, who was standing by Trump's side during the decree, said Israel won the Golan Heights in a war of self-defense, and the Jewish people's roots in the Golan go back thousands of years. Except Israel attacked first in 1967, and Arabs, Druze, the Turkmen people, and other ethnicities have also lived in the Golan for decades. Syria said the decision was an attack on its sovereignty, and has long maintained that it will not establish diplomatic relations with Israel, unless it completely withdraws from the Golan. So what will the fate of the occupied Golan Heights be? And will Trump's move further destabilize the region ahead of Israeli elections?